so as i said uh, we have to know the current guidelines and i uh, you know you can all note this one uh, this was released in uh, 2021 indian academy of pediatrics advisory committee for vaccine and immunization practices uh, iap acvip recommendation schedule 1819 and that there is 2021 update on immunization for children aged 0 through 18 years so uh, this was published in indian pediatrics if you search for the re- recent guidelines and what i'm going to discuss further is all from the current guidelines uh, the chart i'm taking from the current guidelines of the indian academy of pediatrics so there in government you we saw it was nine vaccine preventable diseases which are covered primarily and uh, three more uh, which are regionally and as we see now there is also focus on injectable polio vaccine on pneumococcal vaccine on rotavirus vaccine so this is what is happening in uh, the government sector and then we have to know uh, what uh, we should be done in pediatrics so uh, from academy of family physicians of india we are also planning to release a similar guideline for all age groups because you know uh, last time we talked about adult vac- uh, vaccination now we are talking about pediatric vaccination but we need a comprehensive whole uh, life vaccination program or guideline and that we are trying to build up on the behalf of academy of family physicians of india which will be publishing in our journal also but at the moment i would uh, recommend that we go through these guidelines uh, which is published in indian pediatrics and we follow the same guideline if you follow the same guidelines there will be never ever any questions of uh, uh, you know legality uh, competency skills or qualification anybody any mbbs doctor can easily give this services provided we are aware of the current guidelines and we follow the current guidelines so uh this as, as you see on top table 1 is iap immunization time table 2021 so this is the most recent iap recommendation for routine vaccination use and uh this is how we you know uh, we already know uh vaccination starts at birth so bcg should be given if it is an institutional delivery it should be given uh, before discharge opv as soon as possible after birth uh, it is it is to be given immediately uh, and it is recommended as you read the language that hepatitis b should be administered within 24 hours of birth this is the recommendation of indian academy of pediatrics so at birth it starts and then to remember you know uh, you see three vaccines bcg oral polio vaccine and hepatitis b are to be given with birth within 24 hours or as soon as possible within 24 hours hepatitis b oral polio vaccine uh, as soon as possible after birth and bcg before discharge if it is an institutional delivery or delivery in hospital or nursing home then comes the next uh, timeline which is 6 weeks so it is easy to remember birth 6 weeks at 6 weeks we get dtp diphtheria tetanus pertussis and uh, it is one of the first uh, vaccine and ipv first dose so you see in the iap guideline ipv is now recommended earlier it was opv so if you read the previous guidelines it was mentioned oral polio vaccine but now they have also made it mandatory to give ipv ipv is injectable polio vaccine so injectable polio vaccine dpt hib is hepatitis b one is first dose hepatitis uh, sorry influenza hib is influenza hib uh, hepatitis b second dose comes because first dose we give within 24 hours of birth and rotavirus first dose and uh, pcv is pneumococcal uh, uh, vaccine first dose so these are the you know uh, five uh, vaccines which are to be given at 6 weeks so i will repeat again dpt 
इंजेक्टेबल पोलियो वैक्सीन आई पी वी हिप इज इंफ्लुंजा वन हिपेटाइटिस बी सेकेंड डोज एंड रोटा वायरस इज ओरल रोटा वायरस वैक्सीन फर्स्ट डोज एंड पी सी वी इज निमोकोकल फर्स्ट डोज तो वाइल एज वी लर्न इन द गवर्नमेंट प्रोग्राम गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू एक्सपेंड पी सी वी विच इज द न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन फॉर पीडेटिक एज ग्रुप the iap has already recommended it to be given earlier this pcv was not and rota virus were not even few years back even hepatitis b and influenza virus were not uh, given ipv was not given only dpt was given at the time of 6 uh, weeks 6 weeks is roughly one and a half months so now the third uh, timeline is 10 weeks 10 weeks comes after 4 weeks after one month so first is at birth second is at 6 weeks which is one and half months then after 4 weeks at two and a half months and then again after 4 weeks which is 14 weeks which is three and a half months and then 6 months uh uh there is in between they have you know earlier it was 6 uh, to 9 months for uh, uh, at 9 months which was mmr but now you know you see the there is extra timeline of 7 months 6 to 9 months and 9 months and we will come to those vaccines but then we go back to our 10th week uh, timeline which is one and half uh one and half year so because these are recommended by pediatrician these are practiced by pediatrician uh, earlier it was not considered essential to give these vaccines all vaccines in the pediatric age group because government uh, program was different and you know private pediatrician practice was different but now since it is given if parents ask you i mean because it is in guidelines we have to know and we have to arrange this we have to give them and at 10 weeks it is again all the same vaccines dpt injectable polio vaccine second dose hib is influenza second dose hepatitis b third dose so normally when we uh, you know normally we immunize for hepatitis b it is 0 1 months and 6 months but here we give try to give hepatitis b within 24 hours of birth then we give uh, at 6 weeks and then third dose is begin given at 10th week so as you can see there are many vaccines and how to give so many vaccines to you know child so uh, now there is there are multiple vaccine loaded in one injections and i will discuss about those uh, later and uh, then the third uh, fourth uh, timeline is 14th week 3 and a half months and again you see the same vaccines uh, and a fourth dose of hepatitis b is being uh, recommended at age of 14th by iap so uh, this this you know recommendation may be new to us to many of us who are not acquainted with this new guidelines but as i said uh, in practice uh, uh, we should always be you know following guidelines we should be knowledgeable about guidelines so that when parents ask when somebody ask we know what are the recommendations and we can also counsel patients properly about uh, it is not necessary that you know uh, that all vaccines be given or many times patients also reluctant so you can advise them at least those which are important should be given but the guidelines uh, we should be knowing so you see a fourth vaccine of hepatitis b fourth dose of hepatitis b to be given at 3 and a half months so normally we knew about hepatitis b 0 1 month and 6 months but here as we see in the iup vaccination uh, you know uh, schedule we give fourth week and other vaccine so you see six weeks 10 weeks and 14 weeks the vaccines remain same so it is easy to remember first remember try to memorize what we give at birth bcg hepatitis b and oral polio and afterwards it's dpt injectable polio vaccine influenza rota virus and pneumococcal so these we keep on repeating till 14 weeks and after that at 6 months this was not earlier also i was going through the recommendation today so also new for me that iap has recommended this at 6 months 
uh, again uh, influenza and seven month influenza uh, to be given so he is basically uh, you know if you look at the you know six weeks ten weeks and hip vaccine is basically hemophilus influenza type b vaccine and uh, and at six and seven weeks these are different strains probably if i am not wrong uh, i'll check again and when we talk about hip it is hemophilus influenza b type b vaccine and then influenza one and two to be given six seven months so if you read on the right side dgc uh, dcgi drug controller general of india approved brands brands means private uh, when uh, vaccine manufactured you know, companies i'll show you some of the brands and their you know how they look like and then between uh, uh, six to nine months typhoid conjugate vaccine which is not part of the national immunization program this is uh, recommended by the indian academy of pediatrics and is to be given between 6 to 9 months and at 9 months mmr1 means measles and rubella and at uh, 12 months one years hepatitis a vaccine uh, which is single dose live attenuated vaccine at 15 months mmr2 months measles uh, varicella 1 and pcv booster pcv booster is pneumococcal so you know there are more uh, timelines in this new schedule and we must remember them earlier it was easy birth 6 weeks 10 weeks 14 weeks 9 months uh, and uh, 16 to 18 months but now there are multiple uh, new timelines and additionally we are having timeline of 6 months 7 months 6 to 9 months for typhoid then 9 uh, months mmr then 12 months hepatitis a so hepatitis a and typhoid are something which are not included in the universal immunization program of government so we need to remember these timelines and, uh, so that when parents ask you can give them the right recommended time for immunization and then it's between 16 to 18 months uh, dpt uh, hib uh, booster one and ipv booster one so now you know between 18 uh, 6 to 18 months which is you know around one and a half years of age we give booster one of uh, uh, human in, uh, hemophilus influenza type 2 type b uh, and uh, ipv ipv is injectable polio vaccine and between 18 to 19 month hepatitis a2 a2 is second dose and varicella is second dose so this is how it is in it is a bit more comp uh, you know to me it looks a bit complicated and too much of vaccines but uh, this is how uh, is the recent uh, guidelines of the indian academy of pediatrics but at least we can uh, recommend we should be knowing if somebody asks for hepatitis a vaccine in my understanding hepatitis a vaccine is not you know mandatory for all only it is mandatory for you know uh, when there is uh, occupational hazard or you know somebody is living in hostel going for monitoring or going into endemic area uh, but uh, similarly typhoid is you know common in our country but you know those who eating from home have clean access to clean food and water they have limited risk of uh, getting typhoid but if it is to be given in children this is what indian academy of pediatrics has recommended that typhoid vaccine be given uh, between 6 to 9 months and hepatitis a vaccine be given first dose on 12 months which is one year of age and it can be repeated again hepatitis a vaccine booster dose on between 18 to 19 months which is one and a half years then after 18 to 19 months the next uh, you know uh, stoppage comes at 4 to 6 years around 5 years of age and at this time uh, dpt booster or booster 2 ipv booster 2 ipv is injectable polio vaccine i would emphasize and again and again because all of us have heard of oral polio vaccine and mmr3 
so mmr3 is recommended at 5 years of age and then at 10 to 12 years age uh, tdp which is tetanus and diphtheria combination vaccine and hpv uh, human papilloma virus uh, vaccine to prevent cervical carcinoma for girls uh, to be given so this is the schedule of vaccines and it might be slightly new to many of us uh, who do not provide vaccine in routine but this is the recent guidelines of 2021 so it is important that we remember these timelines birth 6 weeks 10 weeks uh, 14 weeks uh, then uh, 6 months 7 months 6 to 9 months 9 months 12 months 15 months it may not be easy to remember all those things so better to keep a chart of it and in your you know uh, uh, writing table or your uh, practicing table uh, below glass or you know hang it on wall or print it in form of a vaccination uh, schedule chart or vaccination card for your clinic so that you can easily remember or show it to the patients and their parents if they ask for it uh, but my uh, understanding that we should be normally recommending only those vaccines which are have been you know declared or deemed necessary by the government of india universal immunization program there are other vaccines also which are mentioned in this uh, you know detailed uh, uh, vaccination schedule by indian academy of pediatrics we should know about it and if parents demand we should be able to provide it so you can see uh, uh, again within this you know there's no chicken pox vaccine it may be you know requirement by few there is no meningitis vaccine in this uh, you know there is no japanese encephalitis uh, vaccine in this schedule so these are you know uh, required not for all patients but for selected patients in endemic regions or those patients who are on special risks so i hope uh, we understand the importance of standard guidelines guidelines and the recent guidelines so whatever treatment we do, we try to get the recent guidelines, be it asthma, diabetes, hypertension, and we treat and align our practice with the guidelines.